this model kit review is of the Ferrari FXX and this is a 124 scale model it's by Tamiya it's got a fair number of parts they show you all the sprues on the front and then a picture there of the um, model the dimensions there some more pictures there of the model the interior it's an official Ferrari licensed product and I don't really see anything else uh, on the outside of the box let's have a look on the inside so uh, lots of parts to look at and uh, Tamiya I'm expecting some exceptional quality because that's how Tamiya does it okay well let's start off with this uh, sprue it will come individually wrapped Lots of parts to look at here. Molding quality is very crisp and clean, typical Tamiya quality. Lots of body panels inside and out. Here are the insides of the doors. We've got the engine cover with our air intakes. Looks like part of our um, dashboard there. Our floor pan there with the uh, for the driver's um, feet there. Seats are going to go on either side. Here's our um, steering column with steering. I'm going to call that a wheel. Oh, that's just the, uh, maybe the controls. That's the paddle shifters. Here's the steering wheel. Here's our uh, windshield wiper. Lower part of the dashboard. Lots and lots of parts. Very well molded. You can see the little rivet lines there. Over here we've got some engine parts. And this is a V12. So here you can see the engine, just amazing quality in terms of the molding and level of detail. We've got a transaxle there. All the rest of the engine parts, crankcase, um, just amazing. Here's our uh, drilled out um, brakes, disc brakes with brake um, parts there. Here's our subframe with suspension parts, some uh, little fluid bottles steering uh, hubs there exceptional level of detail okay, here's our glass front and rear and then lights rear and so on all looks pretty good there now over here we've got our uh, tires and then some poly caps and these poly caps that the wheels I guess can turn and these are well, I don't know what they're made out of, it might be rubber. But they're nice smooth racing tires, very wide rear ones and then more narrow ones in the front. Now this sprue here we have, um, this is the, wow, that's the inside. So this is the monocoque, in other words it's made at the actual frame or body makes up the frame a uh, little brake booster there there's all the interior for the inside of the uh, of the body got lots of parts on here we've got some uh, suspension parts there some tubes hoses torsion bar also part of our suspension there more um, subframe parts the a arms and we've got our radiator, rear intercooler there, the radiator fans, and then air intakes. Here's our steering rack. So it looks like that's going to be mobile, so it'll move. Lots and lots of tremendous detail there. So we've got another black sprue here. We've got our uh, Racing cage there, the roll cage. Got our wheels, more brakes, and um, exhaust parts there. Probably for our air. More um, exhaust hoses, pedal box. Just a tremendous amount of detail. Here's our diffuser at the back. Another part probably for radiator there. Okay, 
Now, got some body parts here. Oh, I do you see? Here we go. We've got some some screws, very small screws, tiny little screws there, and then some hubs there. Here we've got our side glass. So there's probably some brake lights there. Now here is our main part of the body. This is the front hood with the rear wheel wells and part of the um, sides. And there is our rear um, bumper. Now the rest of the um, parts here. Here we've got our rear um, engine cover. Got some racing seats here, we've got two of those. Those are very nicely molded. Here's our nose. And I'm not sure what that is, looks like part of the engine though. We've got our doors, both sides, more scoops and part of our uh, tail there. And uh, over here, what's also nice is they give you some shiny metal pieces, probably for, to stick on there for the Ferrari logo and the uh, prancing horse. We've also got some masks here. So the masks are for um, putting on the glass. When you put the window in, you want to paint it. Uh, that way you don't end up painting the window but you can get that nice blackened edge around it. I see we also have some mesh. Multiple pieces of mesh here. And it's very nice, very fine mesh. Okay, now here are our decals. We've got two decal sheets here. And this is a nice, there's nice solid white decals. And then the Italian uh, colors. And here are our um, seat belts and all the other parts. I've actually, um, I've actually seen a real FXX and I'll include the video at the end. Uh, it is loud. I'm not even sure that they even have a, uh, a muffler on it, it's just straight piped. Okay, so uh, here's some details here about the car. They only made 29. 29 of these cars. Let's have a look. Okay, we're going to start off here with the engine. And uh, there's the exhaust, very convoluted exhaust. They often did this to try and make it more musical. Um, so attaching that uh, onto the engine and then building that onto the subframe. We've got the uh, suspension parts going on, wheel hubs going on with the brakes. There's the front uprights with the um, uh, brakes being put on. That's all put onto the chassis. And we've got our air intakes and then mounting everything onto the chassis. So over here we've got a dashboard being built for the interior. Putting our seats on there, the roll cage, and then uh, our radiators there. That's all then mounted uh, on the inside of our uh, monocoque uh, chassis and body parts there. Underside here we've got uh, some tubes there, it looks like that's uh, water cooling. And then our uh, diffuser. Now we've got the um, fuel tank going in there, and uh, some hoses, there's um, suspension parts. Now here's the uh, mesh, I recommend you cut out those mesh pieces there, actual size. I'll probably photocopy that, um, or you can print it out online, and then put on the air intake. So that's where to put them, number one is the air intakes. And here's the oil cooler. So that's what those parts are. They went for actually water cooling or air cooling. It's uh, oil cooling. 
and then putting in the air intakes and rear fenders and uh, there's the air cleaner or uh, air filter front window goes on there the windshield wiper and then now we're building the body we've also got the same thing here with our um, uh, mesh being put on there for the grills here are the um, doors inner and outer door panels going on there and um, here's the uh, bumper for the rear bumper all those parts including the tail we've got lots of mesh parts there for airflow and then putting the uh, doors on so you put them through there they can open and close and now we're putting the body together that shows you the direction that the um, body opens Here's our rear bumper going on there, as well as our uh, wing or tail. Here's the engine lid. And looks like these get screwed into there. There's little screws. We've got our wheels. And then uh, that's all put onto the rest of the body. That's how to open the rear engine. And here is the painting and decal guide. So, all in all, tremendous model. Exceptional level of detail. Molding quality is superb. Great decals, great details. Here with the mesh. Um, typical Tamiya quality.